Welcome to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now, if you do any kind of ambient audio field recording, you're going to want to stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be the best ambient audio field recording setup ever. And even if you're a complete beginner, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and how to use it. Let's jump straight into the video. So we're going to be building this setup around a matched pair of LCT040 Lewitt condenser microphones. Now these microphones are absolutely phenomenal. You'll normally find them in a studio for music recording, but we're going to be turning them into field recording microphones. Now these come with a five star rating on Amazon because like I say, they are absolutely phenomenal. And because they're a matched pair, they come in a pair. So we need two of them. We're going to pair the microphones with a Tascam DR60D Mark II field recorder, a Rode stereo bar, a Rode handle, a power bank, which we'll talk more about later, a pair of Rode WS8 windshields, and a couple of XLR cables. And I'll be using a DJI Pocket just to show you one way you can use this setup. Now the Tascam field recorder does go through batteries. In a 45 minute session, we was able to go through 12 AA batteries, which is the reason we need a power bank to get 12 hours use out of it. I use a little bit of Velcro to join them together and a cable and a Tascam can run quite happily off a power bank. So let's stick on the windshields onto our Lewitt microphones and attach them to the stereo bar. Now we run the XLR cables from the recorder to the microphones. Attach our handle to the stereo bar. And we mount our DJI pocket to the top of the stereo bar. The microphones run off phantom power, meaning they get their power from the field recorder itself. So we switch that over to mic plus phantom power. This is the reason it eats through disposable batteries and why you want to use a power bank. Now you can use headphones to monitor the audio, but that's optional. But it does mean running an extra cable from the field recorder. Then all you have to do is set the level of each of the channels. You get a left and right for each microphone and you can monitor this with the screen on the Tascam. Then when you're happy with your levels, hit record. Anyway, let's stick it in a bag and head off out and show you what it can do. Now, this is the whole setup. As you can see, we've got the power bank and the recorder in the bag at my side, and we've got the windshields on the microphones. The cable running from the microphones goes directly down the bag and under your arm. But you're probably wondering, what does this sound like? Well, stick on some headphones because we're about to go to London and I'm going to give you a demonstration. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. If you want to see the full version of that, I'll link it above and in the description. Now you don't have to use this setup as a mobile recording device. You can, of course, attach it to a boom arm and just record field recordings. 
Remembering that the microphones are completely adjustable on the stereo plate, you can have them facing straight forward or in any orientation you like. And again, you don't have to use a DJI pocket. These can easily be mounted on any kind of camera setup as long as it's got some kind of cold shoe mount or mounting point. So there you have it, the best mobile field recording audio setup ever, or what I believe is ever. It's just absolutely phenomenal. It's so versatile and so light. To give you some idea of the weight of this whole setup with the DJI pocket, it only comes in at 685 grams, which is just slightly heavier than a small bottle of Coca-Cola. Now, you don't have to use the Tascam or the DJI pocket with these things. It's really about the Lewitt microphones. These LCT040 microphones match pair are absolutely phenomenal. They get the walking in all weathers seal of approval. Now, if you want to see the full version of that London trip, I'll link it above and in the description. Make sure you check it out. But yeah, so that's the whole setup. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I read all my comments. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see further videos like this, hit that subscribe button. But for now, that's going to end this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll catch up in the next video. See you soon, guys.